Welcome to lesson number seven of the Seeds of Ubuntu course. In this lesson, we share some examples of the cultural expression of Ubuntu in South African society. As we shared earlier, people from all over the world speak about the spirit of Ubuntu that is found here in Africa. During his visit to Ghana in 1980, Pope John Paul II remarked, The essential aspects of African culture are a vision of the world where the sacred is central, a deep awareness of the link between creator and nature, a great respect for all life, a sense of family and community that blossoms into an open and joyful hospitality, reverence for dialogue as a means of settling differences and sharing insights, and spontaneity and the joy of living that are expressed in poetic language, song and dance. This spirit of Ubuntu is present in many of the customs, traditions and cultural practices that form part of the systems and institutions that the African people have created to celebrate, grow, nurture and maintain harmony, social cohesion and prosperity for everyone and to make their lives governable. Following are some examples of Ubuntu practices that remain alive in South Africa today. A distinct feature of Ubuntu custom and tradition is group and community orientation that we see at play in African practices such as Dava and Ilima, among others. These practices refer to people coming together to help fellow community members. For example, during harvest time, the sharing of land and resources and assisting a newcomer to the community to get settled. In terms of Ubuntu, people experience fulfillment and reward through their service to others. Ubuntu or unity consciousness is also very prevalent in the fields of politics, governance and democracy in Ubuntu communities. Practices that are directed at getting people together and to participate in discussing and solving important community issues to maintain harmony and enable restoration and reconciliation include, for example, Imbizu, Khotla, Inkundla and Indaba. Professor Lovemo Mbigi speaks of village democracy, the practice of consultation, consensus, tolerance, order and unity as a means to resolve conflict and to prevent and restore broken relationships. Ubuntu is also prevalent in the approach of the people when it comes to wealth and money, which has always been geared more towards everyday living than wealth creation. Since people are under obligation to help one another, they are expected to share. For example, a man who has two cows with plenty of milk will donate the milk of the second cow to the brother who does not have a cow. The practice of Stockfell is a very popular and common economic empowerment practice that is commonly used for many traditional and societal events such as the arrival of newborns, weddings and burials that involve the pooling and throwing over of money. Social welfare is another field of society where Ubuntu is at play. Ubuntu-inspired social welfare models view members of society from the family, community, environmental as well as spiritual perspectives. In this regard, we have a brief look at the caring and the raising of children and the approach to the caring for orphans, the old age and people suffering from mental distress through the eye of Ubuntu. From the Ubuntu perspective, Child upbringing is a communal effort. The responsibility for raising a child is shared with a larger family, 
Everyone in the family participates, especially the older children, aunts and uncles, grandparents and even cousins. Even the wider community, such as neighbours and friends, get involved. Children are considered a blessing from God for the whole community, which is why their good upbringing and development is in the interest of everyone. In Ubuntu, there is no one who does not belong, and everyone has someone to help or support. Belonging is the root and the essence of being, and the ordering of society is based upon this worldview. Members of the family and community are never to feel lonely or neglected, especially so the elders. In Ubuntu-based families, one is always surrounded by people who are ready to console, comfort and assist. In traditional Ubuntu-based communities, orphans, the disabled, the homeless, the elders and the mentally distressed are taken care of in the community. Families and communities that embrace the Ubuntu philosophy accept the burden of caring for the needy. This approach is driven by the sense of caring and sharing, inclusivity, interdependence, interrelationship, interconnection, compassion, kindness, dignity and love. These were but a few examples of the cultural expression of Ubuntu in South Africa. As a worldview and a consciousness, Ubuntu is at play in all spheres of life and society, such as the arts, education, health, the environment, spirituality, law and justice, science and so on. We can go a long way in bringing about the much-needed change in many of our dysfunctional systems in society when we look at them through the lens of Ubuntu. Thank you for watching this lesson. We trust that you enjoyed it and we encourage you to be on the lookout for Ubuntu in our South African communities and villages. We know that you will be well cared for and that you will feel very welcome here.